Alright, so we're back in the open world of Wasteland. I hope I didn't forget anything major. This is my first recording of the last session. So we just finished with Rodia. We definitely finished with the whole situation with the mayor, at least. And the mayor wants us to tell Angel Oracle that we have finished things up there with the, uh, that she can, that they can trade again. And last time we went into Angel Oracle very briefly, we heard that we got a hint that there's a condemned man they're planning on executing. So we should probably try to deal with that. Uh, the doctor wants us to go somewhere else entirely for the sake of, uh, where was it? Was it Santa Monica? I'll check the quest log later for it, but he wanted me to go somewhere else for a microscope, but no matter what I do, we definitely have split objectives, so I, I figure, let's well, let's go on to Angel Oracle. We hinted at this place earlier, so I might as well check it out again. I don't know why the, I don't know why this menu looks like it's, when I, when I move around, it's like locking up over and over again, it keeps ticking. It's weird. Anyway. It's interesting not having to worry about water anymore. Just one less thing to be concerned about. I can just casually walk from any location to any other location in the map. All right, welcome to Angel Oracle. Let's take a look at the map here. So this one looks doesn't look too eh. It's hard to judge from here. It could it could be big, could it not be big. Looks like there's a whole crowd of people straight ahead of me. Is that where the oh that's a big gun? Okay, I thought that maybe they were gathering for the execution we heard about. That's just a big gun pointing straight at us. That's enough reason to quick save if I've ever seen one. Don't want to say the wrong word and find out these people are all bloodthirsty. Howdy, folks. Let's see here. The statues in front of the of the palatal structure are polished and bright, but it looks like blood has stained the concrete at their bases. Up-ended city buses provide guard towers at e either end of the processional, flanking the closed rolling gate, and sentries with rifles watch the incoming and outgoing traffic. The text above the entryway uh, beyond reads, Angel Oracle. Well they, well, they tried. They tried. Hello, Rangers. Friends. Can you please step over here behind our defenses? Nope, never mind. It, it goes all the way around. Spooky. Hello, gentle stranger. Welcome to Angel Oracle, home of the Manorites. My name is Gard Lelwyn. Or Leowin? That's, that's, that's always a word that I've had trouble with. That name. And this is Guard Baron. We're at your service. So this is the place that the doctor we met got kicked out of. Because he swears too much for Angel Oracle. Are the Mannerite broadcasts coming from over here? Oh, sure. Mr. Manners dispenses wisdom all across LA via the radio. It's a call-in show, and he really helps people learn to get through the power of, to get along through the power of manners. Now that there's no central authority, it's how I came here. In fact, uh, I got sick of fighting hobos and with liz for lizard legs, and I realized I could make something of myself. Maybe help her build civilization. You know, maybe I could. Brother little one, our guests took look a little impatient. Uh, perhaps we should hold our personal testimonies for a later day. Yeah, I don't, didn't really ask for your backstory so much. What kind of radio do you have? And can we stick things to it? I was told that we have one of the most powerful setups in this part of Los Angeles. Los Angeles. God damn it. I was thinking Los Santos for some reason. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, it's a really great promotional tool, don't you think? Just brings so many people together so quickly. Yep, it's a nice piece of tech to have. It's exactly what we're hunting for too, of course. But the Leowin, having good manners doesn't mean we have to go spilling all our secrets. Like the like the book says, a little ambiguity is good in social situations. Oh, look at you censoring him at every turn. What do you think about Mr. Manners? Oh, he's a great man, our leader, and the world's most knowledgeable mind when it comes to manners of pro uh, propriety. What can you tell me about the Mannerites? That's us, friend. We're the Mannerites, adherents to the Book of... Nauseatingly? No, oh, nauseatingly correct manners. Oh, wow, I haven't seen the word written out for a while. <laughs> and this is our home. If you come in peace, and you are polite, you are more than welcome to enter. If not, why, well, we'll have to ask you to leave. With our guns and our giant fucking rifle that's pointing straight at your skull right now. What do you know about Angel Oracle, this place you live in? That's a weird question. It's a weird way to phrase the question, I mean. Why you're standing in front of it. This is our home, and we've made it very nice. We've been broadcasting our message of manners and civility to the wasteland, 
and we believe it's helping restore some civilization to the world. You are totally welcome to share with us, friend. But first, you'll need to talk to the sheriff over in Visitor Processing. Where's the sheriff? Sheriff Marshall's just inside the door here. She'll get you situated in, in the angel in the angel oracle. Just make sure you're polite and use your manners. That's the real key to our society, you know. Speaking of manners, why do you care about them so much? There's nothing more important than manners, my friends. It is the glue that holds civilization together. Sure, why not? We're looking for cat litter. Uh, cat litter. Cat litter. What? Well, we don't have. We don't make it here. If that's what you're asking, but Mr. Manners keeps cats, and, and he has a sca our scavenging teams look for stuff all the time, so he may have some. Everyone's gonna have cat litter, even as, as weird as the question is, they're inevitably gonna have some everywhere. What do the radio broadcasts mean by cleansing? Sorry, gentle inquisitors, but I'm not really supposed to talk about that with new visitors. I'm sure Sheriff Marshall will go over it when she when he she explains our rules. Yeah. You're all peaceful and all about manners, but you have creepy secrets, so that's always a good sign. Definitely not making me thinking of that creepy place from, uh, that ha place Haven from Dragon Age Origins. So well -mannered. This bodes well. Please head through to visitor processing, gentle itinerant. I feel like I should take a little bit of a look around out here. See if there's anything stuff, any other stuff around here. Ammunition. Thank you. Uh, uh, my favorite part of this game is how I can just randomly steal things from the vague areas around civilization. This place might go on for a while, actually. Let's take a look around. Hello. Statue. It looks like someone took a rocket to the statue. All that remains is a pair of rotund legs. And a freestanding cane. A simple plaque on the plinth reads, Pizza is coming. Plus one skill point for the whole party. Alright, why not? Oh, a wall you can break down. How could I not try? Oh, Not very effective. And I feel like an explosion might notify people. We'll take a look around first. Explosive trap. Careful. That is not a high chance of success. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, we should split up first. So it's at least just you doing it. Don't screw it up. Don't fuck up, Pernell. I'm placing my trust in you. Nope. Well, didn't explode at least. That's for this time. Knowing my ability to fail multiple times at nine. Ow. There we go. Do I at least get to grab things from it? Yay. I got junk. It's a crushed can. Any. Oh, we're fine. Took 12 damage and no negative effects other than that. That's not too bad. Except for the part where I probably lost whatever was inside of it, if it was something worthwhile. And judging by the explosive trap, it probably was. But sometimes, missing out on things is part of the whole role-playing experience. Our this open grave holds a closed casket. The name on the stone reads Fletcher. Got next to godliness because of his lack of cleanliness. These are all going to be joke headstones like in every RPG ever, huh? Goodbye, Uncle Dave. The nicest guy I've ever known. These words are a poor testament to your life. Never mind. That wasn't funny. <laughs> a gold wedding ring sits at the top of the gravestone. Aww. Oops. Yeah, there seems to be something buried here in this grave. There is a broken model airplane on this grave. It looks like someone set this airplane on fire and then smashed it. Or else they smash the plane and then set it on fire. Either way, it makes you think that it would be a bad way to go. The earth is fresher turned on the grave. The inscription reads, Farewell, Sweet Avalon. I just think of the fact that like when we played when we were playing Divinity and Wander was just casually digging up graves. I'm like, what are you doing? Those are graves. And he's like, what? And then like Turns out a lot. Of, turns out a lot of RPGs have nasty surprises waiting for you if you dig up the graves of people, because it's kind of a shitty thing to do. Oh, that's a decent chunk of map filled in already. So this place, to, this place might be. Actually, it's probably a bad. Exa I was gonna think. I was gonna say it might be slightly smaller than the other location, but then I realized how big much of the last location was a giant crater that didn't have anything in it. 
besides a, a, a manhole and two NPCs. Signs hanging from the necks of each of these dead raiders spells out suc uh, successively, Please, excuse our mess. We are making a better world. Oh my god, I can loot them. You guys didn't loot them? But they have money. I'll rob the fuck out of these guys. Because they're dead. Closer examination reveals the leather armor of these savages appears to be hu human skin stitched repeatedly over itself. Gross. Alright. Can't fault them for killing these raiders in particular if they're straight up... Ooh, rope. Suitable for tying up enemies or lovers, or both. Is that... Are you hinting at something there? Maybe. Hey, don't hurt the gooch. What? That's an interesting question. There's a burrow underneath the low branches of, of the orange trees. Don't hurt the gooch. Are you the gooch? Oh, he is the gooch. Man, look. The gooch was just bunking out. The gooch needs to stay to be safe. It's not safe. Nowhere is safe here. The gooch got no one. The gooch got no place. The gooch just needs some food, okay? Why aren't you safe? Outside world isn't safe. Angels ain't safe. The gooch just wants some walls around the gooch. There's a hole under the fence over there, but that's just so the gooch can get out quick. The gooch doesn't want doesn't want to be food. Oh, that's soil and green is people, and the people are angel oracles. Food. Why why are you mentioning food? That's all it is. Life feeds on life. Life feeds on life, uh, feeds on life, feeds on life, and the man, the gooch, knows this is necessary, but the gooch don't want to be food. The gooch want to be, the gooch want to eat food. And can you just leave the gooch alone? The gooch is not, isn't not hurting anyone, promise. Bye bye There's something disturbed, broken, sad, wrong with him. Huh. He could just be crazy saying nonsense, or he could be hinting that this place is full of cannibals, which it would not be entirely surprising because they're a creepy religious cult monster thing that talks about manners. Oh, was that glittery? Were you a thing? No. Nope. Alright, already getting rewarded for taking a look around. Hello down there, would you be so kind as to ask Lillwyn or Baron to send some water? I can't leave my post and I forgot to bring it up here. Well, we can't go attacking that wall if he's looking. There's no point operating the bucket lift without first placing a Mannerite guard canteen. Should I be trying to poison the canteen? That'd be one way to sneak past, but I don't know if there's a reason to. What? Hello? Oh shit, we're fighting. What? I'm just ran- Um... Wow, I got really close to that thing with before it attacked me. That's never happened before. I guess we have to fight it. They might be mad at me. This thing's got a name. Fappa. I'm gonna fap its fucking skin off. Damn, bro. You serious? Alright, well that was rude. Drinking problems? Not anymore, you don't. Pig liver. That was a weird moment. Hey, we leveled up our tank. Okay. <laughs> that sure happened. Might as well just get in there, and, and especially in case I end up picking like a dialogue option skill or something. Level 24? Is that a new perk? That's a new perk level. Alright. So, 9 points to spend means we can go further into hard ass, which is already 8. Leadership, blunt weapons, brute force. I think I'm gonna say brute force is too low now. Yeah, let's put two points into Brute Force. She's the only person in the party that can do it. And it's kind of becoming a problem that she can't, uh, actually use it ever. Well, since I'm investing into, uh, Brute Force anyway, I might as well go for this one. Applied Force. 5% chance to stun enemies when using a melee weapon. Might as well just run into that. Because it gives me an opportunity to potentially disable an opponent during combat. And that should come in plenty handy. Fortunately, our healer had gone and hurt themselves. Don't know if I want to use a healing item right away, though. Might get an opportunity to meet up with a doctor before any fighting breaks out in here. Let's see here. I'm wondering if I should tell them about the water. Let's see, help Darla get a drink of water. At the outskirts of the stadium entranceway, a guard stationed in the t tower asked us to bring her some water. Said she was dying of thirst. Her name is Darla. 
if these people are up to no good and, and I ever need to sneak in, it might be decent to try to it might be a decent opportunity to try to poison them, but maybe I should show good faith since we're the rangers and we're supposed to not be planning people's demises. Yeah, let's not talk about the hobo. Guard Darla needs water. Oh geez, I totally forgot. She asked me earlier and I just plain forgot. I hope she's she'll be okay. Now now, Brother Lay One. I'm sure she'll be fine. Rangers, will you please take the canteen to, to guard Darla immediately? Thank you for informing us of her situation, General Visitors. It's greatly appreciated. Watch it turn out that like light they are. Watch them turn out to be like the deciding factor in me getting killed later. You saved Darla, now you're gonna die. That was your one opening to escape later in a crucial moment. Place the canteen in the guard baron in the basket. Oh, place the canteen from guard baron in the basket. Oh, the, the bucket, the bucket was asking me that question. <laughs> Thank you down there, rangers. I feel much better already. For some reason, I thought the game, the, uh, I thought guard dollar was talking to me, but it was the, uh, it was the, it was the freaking bucket, so I... The the incorrect context in my head made me reinterpret the, the words all the wrong ways. A metal storm door trying to kick this open would result in a, a lot of pain and little progress. Sorry about this, but we need to ask you some questions to make sure you're ready. After all, we can't have someone just come barging in and then complaining that they didn't know the rules, right? Just answer the following questions, and... We'll have you on your way. First question. When referring to a stranger, do you set, call them sir or fuckface? <laughs> Holy shit. Well, this might not be a very hard test after all. St uh, Steven Dubi. Or Stubai. Dubich. Sir. Perfect. Next question. Do you wash your hands before or after a meal? Both? Before. That's right, because we're not savages and we... And also, I like to stay healthy. Okay, next question: Do the settlement agree? Do the do you settle agreements with words or with blood? Words. Gentle visitor, I'd like to welcome you to the Angel Sheriff Marshall. Will want to meet you, but as far as I'm concerned, you're in. Okay, that was straightforward enough. There's Sheriff Marshall. Oh, it's scrolling all the way down to this character over and over again. My uh, my lead character, more or less. Welcome to the Angel, friends. I'm Sheriff Marshall, and I'll need to explain a few things before we let you roam free. Do you know that we're we're the uh you do know that we're the manor rights, right? And that we put a premium on manners. Yes. Let's see. I probably don't need to ask the same questions all all, all over again. Uh, tell us about yourself. I'm Sheriff Jojo Marshall, gentle speaker. I'm in charge of making sure people m here mind their manners and that they stay nice and polite. Okay, when people come out in the du of the dust, who can say what kind of bugs they're carrying? Who can say their intentions are good? My job is to get people cleaned up and presentable, show them the ropes, tell them about the place, and make sure they're peaceful. And when the time comes, I take care of our executions too. That's dark. Oops. You have executions here. Yes, gentle speaker, executions. We got a nice, tidy place. And sometimes people do their level best to make a mess of it. We don't like that. It's not polite. Without the civilizing grace of manners, we're no better than savages. So, sometimes we're forced to show people just how serious we are. This one's expanding really quickly. I don't stay for the job, but we've got one coming up soon. A little fella named Fletcher couldn't keep his bunk area clean. The filth drew in roaches through the vent next to his bed. Hurt some people, wrecked some stuff, so an example has to be made. Wow. Wow. The execution's because he couldn't keep his bunk clean enough? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, this is gonna get into the territory of that episode of Star Trek where Wesley stands on the grass when there was a sign saying, don't walk on the grass. So they're like, I guess we're gonna have to execute him. Which is a real episode of South... That's actually a real episode of Star Trek. The roaches came through a vent. The ventilation, the ventilation system is connected to the steam tunnels that run below the field. They're connected to every part of Angel. 
We blocked up one near the Fletcher's bunk as well we could, but the roachers always seem to find some way in. Where are the roachers coming from? Sorry to say they live in the steam tunnels below Angel. They're mean, hungry, and damn hard to kill. We block up anywhere they come through, but given the proper motivation, say, rotting food, they'll bust through. What do you know about Fletcher? Nicest guy you'll ever meet. Polite to a fault. But he's so absent-minded, he couldn't even cl uh, keep clean enough to keep the roaches away. Disgusting things. What do you mean by polite? Being polite is the law here. Being rude or unkempt gets you demerits. And if you get enough of those, why, we, you go on trial. And if you've been bad enough to be on trial, chances are you'll be taken part in an execution. But not on the fun side. You just said there's a fun side of an execution. I feel like that means that you may need a few demerits because you're plotting people's deaths, apparently. Let's see. How can we help? You'd like to help. That's great, just great. Now that you've, you've been processed and educated, we might take you up on that. Right now, though, you should get uh, acquainted with the place. You'll have to stick by a few rules, but I don't suppose that's too much a hardship for law enforcers such as yourself. What are the rules? We live by the book here. I was brought up a Robinson, but we came, but... Uh, we came to the angel and took its habits. So surely you can too. First rule is to be polite. Second rule is to use your manners. Don't speak out of turn, don't interrupt. Cleanliness is next to godliness, you know, like that. Robinsons? I'm a Robinson born and raised. We believe that a person has to take proactive steps to seize the maximum amount of power they can. In fact, maximum power is the name of the book we live by. I bet that that's like a shitty science fiction thriller. <laughs> uh, let's see. F found alongside the manor rights, book of nauseatingly correct manners in a Las Feliz bookshop. There's still bookshops to find these things around here? What do you know about Las Feliz? It's a small settlement northeast of here, past Hollywood. It's ruled by a group of Jesus freak types. That's why we left. They might, they might have been holy, but they weren't polite. What do you know about the Book of Manners? It's the Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners. Some people have Bibles. This one's an instructional book, though. And it keeps our society civil and correct. When people are polite, I'm sure it is a lot harder to get... Uh, I'm sorry. When people are polite, it sure is a, a lot harder to get to fighting. If you want a real rundown, talk to Mr. Manners. Can you tell me about Mr. Manners? Mr. Dick Manners, of course it's his name. <laughs> Dick Manners is the guy who runs the show around here. He was raised in the Mannerite tradition, born and bred to be its leader, and he teaches up the most important glue of society is proper use of etiquette, politeness, and civility. Hell, if he'd known how to talk, uh, how to, talk to each other back in the day, you think we'd have dropped the bombs? I mean, accurate enough, but I think that's more about cultural differences and language differences than than manners, considering you guys execute people. I don't think that manners has gotten rid of death. Uh, I think we're good here. All right, carry on, Rangers. Everyone seems to be enlightened here. Of course, Corrin Kane would like this place. Truly, this is the most civilized place I have ever been. You're all being corrupted. Stop. So you can go down and hold another whole layer here. So this looks like it might be. Is this, is this place going to be a, a, a football or baseball stadium or something? Oh yeah, this looks like a, it definitely looks like the makings of a baseball stadium. Hello. Did you see those creepy humanoid robots? They look like people with their skin peeled off. I can't wait. Uh, Rob oh, there's Robinsons here. I can't wait to see that little uh, prig get torn apart. A lot of people talking about violence and monstrous things. Too much dialogue happening simultaneously. It's pretty hard to follow. A teaching from the book. Manners are the glue that holds society together. Never chew with your mouth open and finish your meal so that nothing is wasted. 
have a great day. God damn, that, that text feed just lost its goddamn mind. It's just been adding a new line every few seconds. Come on, baby, let me show you the, my ultimate power. Ew, no thank you. You don't know what you're missing. Once you go rude, you never go back. That doesn't even rhyme. There's a lot of background dialogue, but a little too densely packed. It's actually... This is, seems to be a thing that would greatly benefit from having some voice acting, actually. The restrooms? You can go inside. Why not? Let's learn things about the inner workings of their bathrooms. Oh, that looks like a place where the, uh... You can traverse into that vent. I bet that's where their cockroaches are they were talking about. Me let's see... Mechanical lock, electronic pass pad, passcode pad... Safe cracking 26%. Not a great chance. Might as well give it a shot. No mention of a, uh... So we need a code. We could try it though. Sometimes it takes way too many times to try to highlight the right angle in that radial menu. <laughs> wow, first try, alright. Mark III camera. Old world digital SLR with the last few seconds of battery life. You can see it contains photos of cosplay and art form long forgotten. <laughs> Plus one smart ass. Alright, Pazepi. Guess who gets bonus points and smart ass all of a sudden? Yeah, she's level 8 right now. Oh wait. You probably have to equip it, huh? It's a trinket? Yeah, it is. What's your current trinket? Allie's rock, plus one perception. Yeah, Until I, unless I think I need smartass for some reason. Might as well let her be a better gunner. Hard to call, hard to say for sure. You notice scrapes on the wall around the gate, uh, around the grate, as if it has been removed and replaced numerous times. Where's this gonna take me? My hugged left wall method is taking me into strange places now. So these must be the sewers where we supposedly encounter those giant cockroaches. Wonder if they'll just be all ha all happier once the cockroaches are gone. This place might go on for a while. Oh, look. It just suddenly has the entire map filled in. Okay. Where are these locations? Storeroom. Vent. So we can try to repair the vent. Here, let's go individual individual control real quick before someone walks into the steam and probably dies or something. Scaldingly hot steam is shooting out of the open valve. The heat is ma uh, making your eyes water. The wheel near the jet looks rusted, but a feat of strength might yank it shut. Or maybe we could just fix it, which seems like a higher chance of success. I believe in you. Don't I have a 0% chance of failing with mechanical repair now? I'm pretty sure I got a perk that makes it so I have a 0% chance of, of failing in general. I only really use it when I break a lock and I have to fix that, so I've uh, kind of associated with that, but I'm pretty sure it's just a zero- I just can't mechanically fail- critically fail at mechanical repairs ever. So we should be all set. This might take too many tries. <laughs> I had like a 1 in 5 chance of success. Was that 20 or 26? 1 in 4, 1 in 5, either way. There we go. Get out of here, Steam. No one likes you. Sweet. Alright, go into manual control mode again. If I'm walking in on a cockroach, I just want to see it in advance, because I might be able to wipe it out very abruptly without a fight. And that just seems like an all-around best-case scenario. Hello, another broken vent. It's a good thing I got some mechanical repair, huh? Is it the same description as before? Looks like it. Zero percent? Oh no. Oh no, that's way less good. What about you? A one in ten chance of brute force? Let's give it a shot. I won't regret this. Critical fail on the first kick. Oh yeah, it's, we're not kicking it this time. We're trying to pull it really hard. No, we failed. I might as well try it a few times. 
Usually the negative effects of failing this are just a, a negative stat for a few minutes. There it is. That happens. We get we get that one a lot. Minus four brute force. You hurt your kicking bone, but we weren't even kicking it. Why do I feel so lied to? Guess I, I might as well just find out what happens if I touch it. Wait. Oh. It does eventually hurt you a little bit. Still. We could just walk through this, apparently. And people will just take really minor damage, especially if they stand in like a jackass, like what just happened there. Alright, well, that was less of a problem than I thought it was. I thought we had- I thought it seemed like more like the type of thing I had to take care of. What about this one? I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a reward for fixing it. Oh, giant cockroaches. Alright. Do I have line of sight on these guys? There's one right out there. Friends, objects, enemies. No line of sight. Okay. Let's do some of that sweet mechanical repair. Oh no. You son of a bitch. You just had to, didn't you? Just had to turn the corner at that exact moment. Alright, well, get out of here. Well, that took a chunk out of him. Well, situation resolved. Attention all citizens. I'm getting reports of screeching sounds coming from the steam tunnel. As you all know, the steam tunnels are a restricted area. This is for your own safety. Anyone found accessing restricted areas or anyone found guilty of Stirring up the roaches will be punished. Remember, roaches may cute when they're small, but they are not to be taken as pets. Roaches are savage creatures. They'll take a bite out of you at the moment you let your guard down. Enjoy your day. Radio emitted... Anyone found- oh, that's what they said already. Um, you come across a dead synth and a dead Robinson. A suspicious array of supplies lay on a nearby crate. The dead Robinson is clutching an ID that reads, Runyon. Interesting. I bet that- what if that's the only roach? I have a, sam I have a very small sample size to make that kind of assumption on, so it could be totally false, but... It'd be really funny if that there was a bunch of se what if there's a bunch of secrets down here and the roaches were just being used as a scare tactic to make people not want to come down here. Let's see. Finkman Supplies. A small medical bag with the word Finkman is written on a small plastic tag attached to the carrying strap. Lindy's Tools. A leather tool with a bag named Lindy written on its side. Pal Palad uh, Paladino's Watch. An old silver watch, wristwatch. Uh, some of the gears are, and screws have been removed. The word Paladino is graved on the back. Finkman Supplies. Interesting. Another one dead. Vengeance, joy, hate, good. Runyon Pearson ID. An ID card. Front reads Runyon Pearson, Robinson, Farm Labor. Thank you for reading this card. <laughs> A note from Malachi. Hastily scrawled note. There's a few things going on here. Okay. Take a look at that note in a second, but also, let's see. Help Jonathan Gitlin prove his, his innocence. Found a dead Rob a synth and a dead Robinson in the, in the steam tunnels under the stadium. There's several stolen items near them. A tool bag, a watch, and some medical supplies. We should return the supplies to their owners. Fletcher is being executed because he couldn't keep his, his area clean. A man named Fletcher is going to be cleansed. That's, that's some dark stuff right there, but that's a different name, though, than the one I just read. I saw, the, I saw an F name, and I thought briefly that might have been the same person, but I was wrong. Looking for this note? Yeah, Finkman. Different from Fletcher. Paladino's watch. There we go. Note from Malachi. Master, I am in position. Sustained damage from roaches during infiltration. Have won a Robinson to the cause. Sent him to find items necessary for my repair. M. So someone was trying to steal supplies to repair a synth. And what mischief was this one up to, I wonder? Don't seem to have the option to repair it or, in, or do anything interesting with it. 
We have a lock and an explosive trap again. Alright, everyone back off for a second. Let's give this one a shot again. Don't screw me on this one. Zero percent success rate. Well. That's not good. How about some toaster repair, huh? Sweet toaster repair, zero percent. Do you have better toaster repair at this point? Thirteen percent. Not happening, basically. This is a whole corner of the map that has requires skills that I don't really have available to me at the moment. All right. We found some useful some useful tricks though around here at least. All right. So we've arrived in Angel Oracle, guys, and now we're going through these sewer tunnels. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, but thanks for watching like always, and I'll see you next time. We'll see what kind of secrets we can, can, we can uncover about this place and the people that they are planning on executing.